You are the wildest, most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you, but at least I know our children will be beautiful. Look at her, LeFou, my future wife. Belle is the most beautiful girl in the village. That makes her the best. Good morning, Belle! Ah, wonderful book you have there. Have you read it? Uh, well, not that one, but you know, books. <laughs> Shall I join you this evening? No. It's the ones who play hard to get that are always the sweetest prey. That's what makes Belle so appealing. She hasn't made a fool of herself just to gain my favor. What would you call that? Dignity? But she's so well-read. And you're so athletically inclined. I know. Belle can be as argumentative as she is beautiful. Exactly. Who needs her when you've got us? This is a small village. Small-minded as well. But small also means safe. So, what can I bring you from the market? A rose. You ask for that every year. And every year you bring it. Then I shall bring you another. You have my word. We need to get you home. Who's there? Who are you? I've come for my father. Your oh, father is a thief. Liar! He stole the rose. I asked for the rose. Punish me, not him. What happens when the last petal falls? The master remains a beast forever, and we become antiques. Well, master, I have had my doubts, but everything is moving like clockwork. True love really does win the day. I let her go. You what? Good show, chip, my boy. <laughs> go and teach them a lesson. Go. <laughs> Yes, those are called book shoes, Sir Trade Musketeers. Oh, I'm off. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come here, little boy. I see you this way. I put it on. Yes, pretty little boys, yes. Beautiful. Go. Be free, be free, be free. Maestro Cadenza, are you ready? No. <laughs> It has been so long since I have performed, I can barely even remember how. Oh, another cavity. I shall play through the dental pain. Don't worry, dear. It's only Mrs. Potts. The master's not as terrible as he appears. Somewhere deep in his soul, there's a prince of a fellow just waiting to be set free. Oh, everyone, calm yourselves. We still have time. Mama, am I ever going to be a boy again? Oh, yes, Chip. You'll have your days in the sun again. You just leave it to me. Mama, there's a girl in the castle. Yes, Chip, we know. What kind of tea does she like? Purple, oolong, chamomile. I'm too excited. Oh, slow down. Why do you break your handle? Heads up, Mrs. Potts. Oh. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Want to see me do a trick? Lumiere, I grew three more feathers, and I just plucked yesterday. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Don't worry, I'll have this place spotless in no time. This plan of yours is dangerous. I would risk anything to kiss you again, Plumet. I am Lumiere. You must forgive first impressions. I hope you are not too startled. Why would I be startled? I'm talking to a candle. Candelabra, please. Enormous difference. But consider me at your service. The castle is your own now, so feel free to go anywhere you like. Oh, I'm getting more metallic every day. Oh, I am telling you, this China. girl is the one. They must fall in love if we are to be human again. And how can they fall in love if she stays in our room? That's the most ridiculous idea I've ever heard. Charm the prisoner. She's the daughter of a common thief. What kind of person do you think that makes her? Romeo and Juliet's my favorite play. Ugh. Why is that not a surprise? Well, all my heartache and pining and... <laughs> so many better things to read. 
Dot with the hair. Women love nice hair. Snip, snip. Polish the nails. Shine the horns. Eyes closed. And to top it all off. Voila.